Hello everybody, it is I, the Willowji Big Mac, and welcome back to a brand new, uh, welcome back to, uh, Splatoon, I almost said brand new Let's Play, because I'm a moron, but anyway, welcome back to Splatoon. Uh, last time we just, we just kind of, we just kind of deleted the first area of the game, <laughs> uh, in the first episode, so ain't that funny. Anyway, uh, okay, that's number six. Uh, I want to, I want to do things in order. Cause, cause you know I'm I'm that type type of person. Uh, I'm sure there's one right here. That's number five. Oh, never mind. I guess we're doing number five first. Cool. You know what? It doesn't matter. It it honestly doesn't matter. You know what? I should probably talk about those power eggs at some point. Anyway, anyway, we have sponges in this uh, level. Yeah, those bomb guys, they're uh, pretty easy to deal with, but yeah, sponges. Uh, essentially, you sh you shoot, uh, it grows big. Enemy shoots it, it grows small. That's a simple explanation for you. Up. Oh. I think that's... Huh. Interesting. Whenever I play Splatoon 3, I always find myself out of ink because, because I use the bombs a uh, decent chunk. And I go, and I was like, hmm, I wonder if that's something they add in in uh, three where it's like, uh, they make the ink consumption really big for bombs specifically. Nope, that's, uh, that's kind of in the, in the, in the game for a long, that was always in the game, huh? Then again, I barely played, I barely played this game, so of course I wouldn't fucking remember. Anyway, 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 enough of me being an idiot. Time, time to continue talking about, uh, fucking one. There we go. Oh no, these guys. Whatever shall I never mind. Never mind, they rolled into the uh They rolled into uh my ink like like uh like the morons they are. Yeah, these, yeah, some of these enemies are really cool. Oh, hi. Did, did not notice you guys there. Also, uh, like I said, uh, if the enemy happens to hit this sponge, it'll shrink. So, please, please keep that in mind. Yep. Ooh, okay. We actually have some platforming now. One thing you gotta be careful here. I, I did that to scare him. Alright, let's just jump over here. Right. There we go. Oh, oh, we get the ooh, we get the cannon. Fuck you. Uh, fuck you. Fuck you. I. Uh, there we go. Fuck you. I missed. I uh, hit the sap fish. There we go. There we go, I got all of them. There we go, just just like that. Alright. Uh not not the not the first level, but uh But you know what, we take it. We'll take it. We'll take it. Uh, you know what, I guess, I guess since we did, uh, the fifth level, uh, first by accident, let's just go over to, uh, to the sixth one here. Since we have, since, since I've technically already opened it up. There we 
Alrighty then, let's just... Up, oh, we have a up, oh, we have a bunch of bomb, uh, uh, bomb friends here. Uh, luckily, they slow down, uh, in your ink a lot. Like, just, like, let me just stand here. Look how slow they go. And, and they lose track of you. This, this is different to how they work in Splatoon 3. Again, like, I probably won't shut up about Splatoon 3. But, uh, but yeah, yeah, so in Splatoon 3, they'll just see you and they you get close enough, they'll just kind of suicide bomb. Also, they don't see you uh, moving around like this. Very weird. Perhaps, perhaps they are legally blind. They don't even panic when they see a bomb. Ooh, we have oh we have fans now. Anyway, right, let's just rest these guys with bombs. Alright, good enough of this. Yeah, yeah, they don't yeah, they don't notice when you're moving around, uh, in the ink. I guess, I guess I guess they might Yeah, that's that's very weird. Again. I'm I I guess I'm used to playing the story mode in Splatoon 3. Which I will do eventually. I'm just I just have to do uh ooh, hi. Yep. So, like, I'm sure I'll probably run into a hard level eventually, but, uh, yeah, so far these levels are seeming really easy compared compared to what I'm dealing with in 3. Then again, 3 is, uh, Splatoon 3 is the third game in the, in the series, and the fourth, in the fourth story mode period, uh, the franchise got, so, uh... And yes, I'm cloning. I'm cloning Al Octo Expansion as a separate story mode. Because essentially, it's like, it's like, it's, it's a deal. It's a DLC, uh, like story expansion. Right behind you. And we're and we're almost done this level already. Man, we're kind of man, we're kind of breezing past these, huh? All right, we actually hit me. Up, let me up. You. Right, be, big, be careful about that. Uh, what do you call it? That thing right there. I don't feel like waiting. And just like that, there's a, there's a sackfish. Woo! Alright, that's two levels done. Again, not, not great. Again, I'm not going after all the, uh, suck and scroll, so... You know, I'm just kinda, you know, I'm just kinda chilling out, just kinda enjoying the story mode for what it is. Especially, uh... Especially when this is my first time playing the first game. In, like... I wouldn't necessarily say a decade? I mean, almost, I mean, almost a decade. This game came out in, uh, 2015. It is 2022 right now, so... I'm d That's the Octo Striker. Oh boy. Woo -hoo 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 
Yep. Uh, watch out for the Octo Striker. There we go. I'm playing these levels out of order, but but uh, you know what? It doesn't matter. We, ju we just kind of have to speed run this right now. You know, there's one thing I keep forgetting that I should probably. Oh, we, we gotta move. We gotta move. Oh yeah, we have these fountains. These fountains. Give the uh, greater, a greater height. Also, we are taking some damage. Luckily, damage. Uh... Also, do you guys remember recognize this this level? Because I certainly do. This is the uh, this is the uh, tutorial level. Only only with some added enemies and and a and a threat. And a, uh, and a looming threat of a giant, uh... And with the looming threat of a, uh, Octo Striker. Speaking of which, there he is. Anyway, how do you feel about many boss fights? Oh, just like that, he's dead. Huh. Yeah. Gee, that's our third level this episode, and we're it's it's only eleven it's only eleven minutes and we've already completed three levels. Ugh. This might be a very At this rate, this might be a really fucking short uh, let's play. Like so far this doesn't feel like five hours. It's only like this is it's it's only been It's only been all, all like 40, 45 minutes. And uh Yeah. And I've already completed World 1, and I'm like... And, te and technically speaking, I only need three more sapfish to move on to to uh, World 3. Uh, I'm gonna... Now, I'm gonna play every single level. I don't like Invasion. Yeah, these are the first thing... Appearance of the Octolinks. Uh, if I remember correctly, this one I think I remember was somewhat difficult. Yep, so, yep, so those are what the Octolings look like, uh... Very different to the playable Octo- Oh, hi! Uh, I don't know what they were thinking right there! I don't know about you. Yeah, see all these power eggs, I- Hi. Alright, let's just- let's just get to this, uh... Uh, I don't, I don't know what they were thinking. Uh, just kind of randomly just shooting like that. Hey, we're at the final checkpoint. You know what, maybe, maybe I had trouble with this level as a kid. Probably, probably because, probably... Get out of here. I hate you. There we go. Although I don't hate Aquaman, because uh, in fucking three of my characters, I hate uh, Aquaman. Huh. But yeah, perhaps I perhaps I had trouble on that level as a kid. Probably because probably because I sucked at aiming. Because uh, because I was used to the first person shooters on the PC, like games with games like uh, TF2, for example. And uh, uh, I would have said Overwatch, but that game came out uh, a year later after Splatoon. Okay, so that's where the boss is. Uh, I need to. F where the hell is level one for this? Or no, actually, wait a minute. I just, I think I just realized something. This is level five. Level seven. It's it's not going by a uh, number order for world. Uh, by uh, by area, it go. It's going off of uh, it's going off of just level number in general. Ooh, I almost fell off there. Yeah, so so there's so there was technically four levels in 
in World 1, so start starting off with 5 makes sense. I, it only took me now... It, I just now realized that... Anyway, anyway, we have the Wario color, color scheme. This, this is how I'm going to refer to uh, yellow and... Uh, this is how I'm going to refer to to yellow and purple uh, colors in Splatoon. So what's your favorite food, Bucko? Mine's Krabby Cakes! You know, for some reason, for some reason, hearing the uh, the, cra the Krabby Patties are made of, or like uh, seeing Krabby Cakes, for some reason it reminds me of that uh, uh, robot chicken bit where it was like, uh, <laughs> where SpongeBob finds out uh, uh, what what, cra what Krabby Patties are really made out of, where the joke was that it was made out of, it was made out of crab. You don't see me, you don't see me. Now if you now if you get another set of armor, you get more armor. Funny how that works. Anyway, delete you, and then we have to fall down here. I, I had a feeling that was the final checkpoint. How did they? Oh, oh, we have shield. Oh, these guys have shields now, huh? Oh. Alright, I might have to think about them. Actually, no, I don't. They don't see me. They don't see me. They don't see me. They, they don't see me. Actually, you know what? There we go. Bonus ten, bonus ten for having, for keeping the armor on. Anyway, I have yet to explain how what these uh, eggs do. I'm assuming it's gonna let, me, yeah, up, yeah. So you can use that to upgrade gear, and up and unlock different uh, bombs. So right now I have splat bombs, uh, burst bombs. Essentially, uh, let's see. You know what, let's just buy the seekers as well. Uh, oh yeah, oh yeah, definitely get it, definitely. If we get more ink tank, that's always going to be useful. Uh. Yeah, let's just upgrade flat bombs. And yeah, let's just save up. But hey, we get using the D-pad on the uh, on the game pad, we can switch bombs. And. Uh, so obviously, obviously here's the regular uh, slap bomb. Uh, can you? Yes, you can. Yes, you can cover cover uh, Captain Cuttlefish. There we go. I was about to say he he'll shake off the ink at some point. Uh, burst bombs. You throw it, it explodes instantly. And I think he uses less ink. Yeah, uses less ink compared to uh, compared to regular ones, but doesn't have a big blast radius. And then Seekers, uh, I, if if I remember correctly, I think these were replaced with curling bombs uh, in the other games, or this is like a side grade to the curling bombs. Anyway, anyway, there's there's like one more level here somewhere. I wonder where it is. It's not there there. It's not here. Hmm, perhaps the rest of this episode is just trying to find the last the the last bloody level. Oh dearie me. So let's see, we all know that uh up here. Oh, there it is! 
up there's level four. Yep, there it is. There we go, and we got we got these uh, gushers. Uh, personally, I'll just call them like gazers, just to make things easy. Anyway. Good luck hitting me up here, pal. Oh yeah, oh yeah, these guys are funny. They, uh, they... So they're kind of like variants of the uh, of the first Wall Street fall. Uh, they, they'll, they'll face plant in attempts to uh, to squish you, which is normally instant. Ooh, almost died there. Uh, it, which is normally instant death. Also, uh, fun fact: gazers can actually insta kill. I totally knew that, and I not just find that out just now. Open up all the gazers. We have to get it over there. You now, one thing I'll say, the music in this game reminds me of, uh... Just a radio. It's probably just because the whole, uh... Oh, there's the thunder girl. Anyway. Uh, it just reminds me of the whole, uh... The whole funky is... The funky aesthetic of this game. It just reminds me of, of like, just a radio for some reason. Probably, probably have to do with the fact that you're inking turf and, uh, what do you call it? You're inking turf and you're dealing with, uh, like, you know, graffiti and, like, funky music, that sort of thing. Anyway, we do not care about the, uh, the Sunken Scrolls. I mean, like, if you're a lore nut, you can definitely read the Sunken Scrolls, but, like I said, I'm not going after them. If I get them, great. If not, it's what, whatever. Anyway... Next up, we have to deal with the boss, the dreaded Octo Nozzle. Ah, I wonder what this one's all about. Hmm, probably having to do with a the nozzle. There, that's my that's my big projection of the day. And well, here's the sap fish again. Well, well, I was mostly right. Anyway, shoot his little belly button. Uh, avoid, avoid his, uh, his purple pool of doom. Uh, then climb up him. I think he'll, I think he gets multiple belly buttons. Yep, there we go. One thing I'll, I would also mention that uh, each boss also gets rid of uh, oh. yeah, nice aiming there, buddy. There we go. It's a good thing I got the, uh, the, the, uh, what do you call it? The secret, secret, whatever they're called. Oh, boy. 
Well, that, well, that was unfortunate, ain't it? I had the right idea, just did not have enough of the ink coverage. There we go. There we go. Whoa, almost fell there. Okay, there we go. Alright, die. Alright. Oh yeah, I find it funny when you land on the uh on the enemy ink. Like you'll probably like surely you'll di die by then, but nope. Yeah, now now we have to hit uh multiple more. He has no idea where I am. Yeah. Wow, well, wow, well, the secret kind of makes this, uh... Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh okay. Uh, I can't just camp, I just, just camp them out and fuck with them. Man, damn it, Nintendo, why do you have to make, why do you have to, why, why do you have to make it, uh, unfun for me? Oh well, anyway, let's just, let's just ink him up and, uh, climb up him. There we go. He should be dead now. Yep. He's dead now. Ah, uh, once again, cleared another world in one episode, huh? And now we have to head over onward. Scratchy scratch. What? What's that sound? C -c Cuddle fish. Blast the radio. Must be broken. You're doing great, Agent Three. Don't let up. Anyway. Uh, anyway, we call we cause another uh, power surge, and we get to move on to the next area. Don't be coming clear. They must be using the Zephyrs to to revive the great Octo Weapon. And here we are, another another area. However, I don't know about you. Uh, well, we already cleared one area. I don't think there's enough time to clear another level. Because they're looking at the time. So, I think I'm just going to end the episode off here. Uh, let's just have Agent 3 uh, looking at us. There, there we go. Uh, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you guys did, uh, please, consider, please consider subscribing. It will help the channel grow. And please also consider liking liking, and commenting. So, this video can uh, hit the YouTube algorithm. Because, let's face it. YouTube has no fucking clue what they're doing anymore. Uh, and, w and whatever they think is a good idea ends up being a terrible, terrible idea. Uh, anyway, with that being said, I hope to see you guys in the next episode where we'll be, well, again, saving more sad fish and uh, maybe clearing another area in one episode. Who knows? Uh, it really, it really kind of depends. Uh, with that being said, uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.